What's up guys, it's Theo here coming to you live with another coding tutorial. I'm on SQLZoo.net um, and I'm on the SQL tutorial and we are going to start out with zero, the select basics. If you don't know what SQL is, uh, SQL is, stands for uh, Structured uh, Query Language or Standard Query Language and this is basically the language that allows you to interact with records and tables in your database and uh, query or ask for in layman's terms, the data that you want back from your database that you're persisting. So uh, let's get started. So zero select basics and let's get to it. So um, I'm gonna just restore everything to default. I've already done these but it was a long time ago so let's try and uh, just knock out a few of these. So select basics. Here we have a table with name, continent, area, population, and GDP. And it says this tutorial introduces SQL. We will be using the select command on the table world. So the example uses a WHERE clause to show the population of France. Um, note that note that strings, pieces of text that are data, should be in single quotes. Modify it to show the population of Germany. So right now it says, select population from world where name equals France. Okay, so let's look what we're getting back. Let's hit submit. Okay, so it looks like from that answer, obviously, um, we are getting back uh, France. It's not shown here because it's um, only showing a certain amount of tables. But let's change our name to Germany and let's see if that produces the correct answer. Correct. Cool. So we just we selected the population, which is the table, okay, right here. Or which is the sorry, not the table, it's the row in the table. World is the table. And then we want the population where the name is equal to this clause, Germany. So two. So, uh, show the name and population from Ireland. Iceland and Denmark. So select name, population from world. So we're selecting all the names from the world table where um, the name is equal to Ireland. Okay, and we want we want uh, Iceland and uh, we want Denmark. So pretty simple, but just you know getting you warmed up with uh, SQL, and that's the correct answer. Cool. So we're getting the data that we want. Uh, number three, which countries are not too small and not too big? Between allows range checking. Range specified is inclusive of boundary values. Uh, the example below shows countries with an area of 250,000 to 300,000 square kilometers. Modify it to show the country in the area for countries with an area between 200 and 250,000. So pretty simple. We'll just change that out and we'll uh, change that out to 250,000. So let's try out. Okay, correct answer. So we just changed the range. We're selecting the name. In the area from the world table where the area is between 200 and 250,000. So cool, guys. Um, that's the first one. And let's go back to our tutorials, or let's let's take the quiz now. Okay. So select the code. We'll we'll do this for this first video. So, uh, select the code which produces this table. Okay. So it looks like we're getting the name and population back from these countries. So we want. It's not going to be this because in SQL. Um, the select statement comes first. So we know it's not going to be A or B. It's not going to be um, E either. So our only two options are these. So we want, we only want the name and the population. We, we don't want just the population. So I'm going to guess it's this one. And let's see if I'm right. Or right, I guess we have to, we have, we'll see at the end when we submit, I think. Uh, pick the result you would obtain from this code. So select the name and population. We want those two rows from the world table where the name is like a L. Um, okay. So let's see. Let's see what we would expect to get. I'm guessing we want the name of the population. So it's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. Uh, looks like it's going to be these. Um, okay. So three, select the code which shows the countries that end in A or L. Okay, so so the countries that end in A and L. So we want select name from world, um, where name like A or L. Mm, okay, I'm thinking it is. Uh, let's look back up at this one. Looks like the percentage will go at the end. So I'm gonna guess it's this one right here. Pick the result from the query. Select name, link, name from world. 
uh, where length name is equal to five and region is equal to Europe. So, okay, so it looks like we only want, we're gonna get back names with the five letters. So, a region is equal to Europe, so we know it's not that. Um, okay, so it could be any of these. And we're name, name, length of name from world where length name is equal to five. No, it's not. It's not going to be Egypt again. Um, so the, we've taken these out. Italy, Malta, and Spain. Okay, so five, five, five. It looks like it's going to be that. Cool. Um, five. Here are the first few rows of the world table. Okay, and then pick the result you would obtain from this code. Select name. So we want the name. Uh, area multiplied by two from world where population equals uh, 6,400. So... So we should expect to get back um, Andorra, and then we want this area multiplied by two. So it looks like that's going to be uh, 936. Okay. Uh, select the code that would show the countries with an area um, larger than 5,000 and a population smaller than is that a million? Do 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 do. Uh, one two three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, select name, area, population from world where area is is larger than five thousand. So it's not going to be that. So it looks like it's going to be these areas larger than five thousand. Population is smaller. So cool. I'm gonna guess it's. Let me count the numbers. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Uh, select the code that shows the population density of China, Australia, Nigeria, and France. Okay, so China, Australia, Nigeria, and France. So it looks like uh, population density. Okay, what is... Um, let me look. Population density. I'm not sure about the formula for that, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have to guess on this one. Where name... We're name in. It's not going to be like then. So we know it's down to these. Population divided by the area. I think it's area divided by population. So I'm going to go with that one. Let's score it. See what we got. Five out of seven. Okay, that's not too bad. Which ones did we miss? I'm not sure what. Let's try again on that one. We got that right. Got that right. Um, we're name like a or that ends in A or L. Okay. Um, uh, or name like. Or name like A. Or name like L. Oh, huh, okay. Maybe it's that one. Let's try this one. And then for the last one, let's let's change this to where name in. Um, Name, population, divided by area. Let's try that and let's score it again. 7 out of 7. Okay, so I guess I had the formula wrong for population density. It's population divided by area. Maybe I should have known that. I don't know. And um, then the other one is, so just to uh, select the code which shows the countries that end in A, and A or L, we want where name like. So it starts with this. So, I mean, it can either, like this percentage is, is uh, where you, I'm guessing where you start your... Um, your clause that you want to be inclusive and this is at the end so it goes on the left at the beginning and then um, yeah I, so I guess they're both on the left so I messed up that I gotta look I really don't use that very much when I've used SQL but um yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed that quick video just wanted to change it up a little bit uh, let me know what you think make sure to like comment subscribe give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed thanks for watching like always always appreciate it and uh, yeah guys uh, have a great day thanks